सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी ऑल्टरनेटिव और नॉन कन्वेंशनल सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी सोलर एनर्जी टाइडल एनर्जी वेव एनर्जी ओशन थर्मल एनर्जी ऑल्टरनेटिव और नॉन कन्वेंशनल सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी सोलर एनर्जी इन सोलर सिस्टम्स सोलर एनर्जी ट्रांसफॉर्म्स इन टू हीट एनर्जी और इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी बाई मीन्स ऑफ एडवांस्ड टेक्नोलॉजी दिस इज अ सिंपल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ यूज ऑफ सोलर एनर्जी दिस इज अ सोलर कुकर दिस सर्फिस इज ब्लैक बिकॉज ब्लैक सर्फिस एब्सॉर्ब मोर हीट दैन द नॉर्मल सर्फिस सोलर कुकर अचीव अ हायर टेम्परेचर by using mirror the solar rays fall on mirror and reflected towards black surface solar cooker is covered with a glass plate so that the greenhouse effect takes place energy from the sea tidal energy the level of water in the sea rises and falls this phenomenon is called high and low tides and the difference in sea level gives us tidal energy tidal energy is produced through the use of tidal energy generators these large underwater turbines are placed in areas with high tidal movements and are designed to capture the kinetic motion of the ebbing and surging of ocean tides in order to produce electricity wave energy the kinetic energy possessed by huge waves near the sea shore can be trapped to generate electricity the waves are generated by strong winds blowing across the sea wave energy would be a viable proposition only where waves are very strong a wide variety of devices have been developed to trap wave energy for rotation of turbine and production of electricity ocean thermal energy the water at the surface of the sea or ocean is heated by the sun while the water in deeper sections is relatively cold this difference in temperature is exploited to obtain energy in ocean thermal energy conversion plants these plants can operate if the temperature difference between the water at the surface and water at depths up to 2 kilometers is 293 kelvin 293 k that is 20 degree celsius or more the warm surface water is used to boil a volatile liquid like ammonia the vapors of the liquid are then used to run the turbine of generator the cold water from the depth of the ocean is pumped up which condenses vapor again to liquid geothermal energy due to geological changes molten rocks formed in the deeper hot regions of earth's crust are pushed upward and trapped in certain regions called hot spots when underground water comes in contact with the hot spot steam is generated sometimes hot water from that region finds outlets at the surface such outlets are known as hot springs the steam trapped in rocks is routed through a pipe to a turbine and used to generate electricity iceland like new zealand has so much geothermal energy that residents receive free heating and electricity for their homes the atomic energy the nucleus of a heavy atom such as uranium plutonium or thorium when bombarded with low energy neutrons can be split apart into lighter nuclei when this is done a tremendous amount of energy is released the released energy can be used to produce steam and further generate electricity that's all in this topic learning is fun so keep learning